Where's that wallaby? I want to see what it's up to. I thought there might have been two of them. That stump to the right looks like a pair, two pairs of ears. Now that I think of it, that wallaby just looks like a tree stump too, doesn't it? But I thought there might be two of them there. That stump to the right looks like a pair of ears. What are you up to, wallaby? That's the little wallaby, it must be the one that comes into our place and eats all our plants. All my favourite plants, all my sandalwoods and my quandongs and things that I was trying to get established. It's not in the direct sunshine, so it does look a bit like a silhouette, doesn't it? It also looks a bit like a dog. Well, it's got a tongue like a dog, but it stands to reason that a wallaby should have tongue. I don't know much about wallabies. I haven't had much to do with kangaroos. That's dead African box thorn it's surrounded by. The council sprays the box thorn so it becomes sticks. doing much is it? If it suddenly bolts I wouldn't be able to film it anyway because it would go too fast. I saw it bolting the other day. Oops I can get a little bit closer. That's 90 times magnification. Alert, look. You can probably hear that truck. I wonder if it's got a friend. I wonder if it's a male or a female. It's got a pouch with a baby in it, a joey. I know where it gets through. There are lots of places where it gets through the fence. It can get through that square wiring fence. It's small enough as a wallaby to get through the squares in the fence. It has lots of places. saw me the other day and it got frightened. I think I might have been talking to myself or something and it heard me and I got spooked. I think there are wallaby, wallaby droppings all over our grounds, everywhere all over our grounds. So at night time, I should get one of those infrared cameras so I can take pictures of the wallaby at night time. There might be more than one. There seems to be a lot of droppings all over the place. I'm a little bit closer now. But not close as I not as close as I like to be. Still, one can't have everything, I suppose. 
Don't tell me the branch will focus and the wallaby will go out of focus. I should read the instructions, yes, that's true. I'll focus on your ears. There's a beautiful little Australian wallaby anyway, doing its thing, its wallaby thing. I wonder why it sits over there in the daytime. There are lots of places in our grounds that it could hide. They really like to hide in primrose jasmine. It's a really thick bush and they can hide. Wallabies aren't supposed to be exposed in the daytime because they can go blind from too much sunlight. It can make them go blind. spooked by the tractor. That farmer's going to drive his tractor past now. That farmer's lit a fire too, so the fire, the smoke. Well, some people like to watch royal weddings. I watch little kangaroos. It. Give us a close up, darling. Show us your little face. All I can see is a black silhouette in my viewfinder. Look at your little paw, isn't it cute? Look at your little paw. I'll have to, I'll just have to get a nighttime camera. I know they come under our bedroom windows because plants have been nibbled. I can tell when the wallaby's been eating. I can tell. I can tell the way they chomp stems. Somebody's been eating stems under our bedroom windows. Someone's so close, only a couple of feet away from where we sleep at night time, but outside. If I had a camera rigged up outside at night time, I could get close-ups of them, couldn't I? I could. I should. You can smell the, the fire.
Look at your beautiful eye. Glistening. Look at your eye. Your beady little eye. I think that kangaroo can smell that far. I think so. See you then.